Hi, in today's video we are going to be programming Pius All-in-One flight controller using the latest version of Mega Pirate NG. To do that, we are going to be using three different applications. All the links will be provided on the description. So let's start. Okay, so the very first link we are going to be needing is this, which is the mission planner. Uh, and this is going to be just for uh, for us so that we can plan missions afterwards. So when whenever we have this uh, software installed, we will be able to um, add some GPS points so that the drone flies through those points. But first of all, let's do one thing and let's start this Arduino software. This is going to be the main thing that we are going to be needing in order to install the latest drivers. So let's go ahead and download that one. To do that, you will just need to click on the link which is going to be provided on the description. And just click on this Windows installer. It will take a little bit to load. You just download. There we go. You've got it. And once you are able to download it, um, just install it and you will have it here like this. So this is also going to be adding all your drivers into the system. So this is like the previous step before even um, linking your flight controller into the PC. And the last thing that we are going to be needing is going to be the Maga Pirate NG, which is going to be the firmware that needs to be installed into the, into the flight controller. So the link has also been provided, so just download the latest version. There you go. Okay, good. So now we have everything installed on our computer. So we're going to double click here. And actually, if you are having any problems trying to install this Arduino, uh, I will be giving you another link with tips and tricks, especially on Windows 8 and 10. Uh, it could be causing some issues because of non firm drivers uh, so I'm going to be giving you also a link on on some tips and tricks on how to install that okay so one of the things that we will be needing to do is just open the application there so the Arduino and then also extract all the files here there we go and just click and open and we will be needing to navigate into that We will be needing to go into this folder arducopter and then it's going to be this arducopter.pte This is going to open the whole project here and important about this is while you will have all the code here this is C++, you have it all here you can modify whatever you want uh, if you feel comfortable with that uh, uh, This file is going to be important this uh, apmconfig.h uh, because it does have some of the configuration that needs to be modified for your quadcopter. And the very last thing that you will be needing to do is here, click on the tools, and then it's going to be here, uh, the board, you will need to select the board. So it's going to be, in our case, as we are using Creos all-in-one, uh, this is going to be the controller that, that it's been. So this is uh, Mega 2560. Okay, once this has been selected, the only thing you need to do is just click here and this is going to um, install all the drivers into the into the board. So I'm not going to be doing that myself, uh, especially because I do have everything configured already, so I'm not going to be messing it up. Uh, but once you have it, uh, you will be able to open Mission Planner here and just click on the connect button. It's going to take a little bit here. Uh, because it's going to load all the parameters. There we go. And now, as you can see, as I move the board, it's moving. The SLR motor is, is showing that it's, it's being moved. There you go. And in order to configure that, you will have like an initial setup and also like a more in-depth configuration for different parameters. Um, so, for example, the PID um, or any of those of 
those configurations. If that is not working, also change this. Uh, so for me, the COM4 is the one that it's working. And also, this is the speed, the transmission speed. So this is the one that I'm using. It's 115200. Uh, you can definitely, if you are using like another board, uh, you can definitely just change that and that should be working also. So in future videos, we are going to be um, dealing on how to configure those. Uh, I will be needing to take a look myself because it has been some time since I don't work with this. So uh, see you on next videos.